Hi, welcome to you inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room. Today I have a special guest with us. We've been watching just now some live downlink of uh, Steve Swanson aboard the space station who is actually preparing one of the spacesuits that he'll be working, uh, wearing during a contingency spacewalk that is now scheduled to take place on April 23rd. That is provided the uh, SpaceX Dragon is launched on April 18th, this Friday. Um, so. Today, right now, I have NASA astronaut Chris Cassidy. Chris is a two-time flyer. He flew aboard this space shuttle on STS-127. yep. And then also did a long-duration uh, tour aboard the space station, this time last year, on uh, Expedition 35 Yeah, a year ago, I was up there. It's hard yeah. to believe. And he actually did three spacewalks, and he's actually working to help uh, come up with the procedures for the spacewalk that um, will be to prepare, um, to repair the, uh, what we've been calling the MDM, it's the multiplexer, demultiplexer that is outside the space station. So first of all, um, explain real briefly, <clears throat> what is the MDM? What is that exactly? It's basically a computer, and there are several different kinds. There's some higher level ones, control MDMs, we call them tier one, and then the tier two MDMs, these, of which the external MDM is one of those. Many of them, or most of them, are inside. This one happens to be outside, and it controls the um, some structural and mechanical things. But what we're care what we care about this week, relative to the SpaceX, are the the targe angles and the solar array ro rotary angles. And if if the second MDM were to fail, we wouldn't have the ability to control those. So that's why it's such an important piece to the whole equation. Okay. Well, thank you for that. Um, <clears throat> real quick, I'll say, well, just describe what. Um, that ta what the task is going to be at hand that Swanson and Mistracchio have at going out and replacing it. They're actually taking one that is on board right now. They have a replacement. I think you have right, a model we have here. One, we happen to have one right here, as a matter of fact. So the spare is inside, just like you mentioned. It's inside with them. Mm -hmm. It's older, though, and uh, so they need to do some work on the inside to update it and make sure that it's got the right software, and the, and the ground teams are doing all that procedure right now. Once they do that, uh, and they're ready to go outside next week, this is what the box looks like. And uh, basically there's computer cards, just like in your home computer at home, inside this big metal box. What those guys will do is uh, there's three bolts. The center one is we call it the jacking bolt because it actually drives the box in and out. Okay. And then the, these two outside bolts just kind of make it secure. There's no uh, connection. This, this is not this connection here won't be on the real box. All of the electrical connections happen on the back side of the box. We call them blind mate connectors because once the box slides in, as you screw it in, all the connectors are made in the back. Okay. So all they really have to do is these three bolts. It's pretty, pretty straightforward in terms of uh, EVA jobs, you know. Um, we anticipate it to go quickly, but as with anything in space operations, particularly EVAs, you never know what's going to be thrown at you. Right, and you would know that yeah. more than anyone. <laughs> right. Um, so also just uh, briefly, just describe for me what um, what's your involvement in coming up with the you know the procedure for their spacewalk. It, it's actually been kind of fun for me. Uh, just like you said, last year I was up in space and mm -hmm. doing my things and plans and procedures would would arrive electronically and we'd read them and com and and uh, and be ready to go. Now being part of the the team of folks that are putting all the plans and procedures together, it's kind of, kind of neat. And there's a, a large kind of army of folks here in, uh, right here in this building, Building 30, putting all that together. I'm representing the crew office and the spacewalk, more specifically the spacewalk um, branch, uh, as we kind of figure out all the nuances of what is needed to go outside. Right, and I understand even um and, and just coming up with how you would go about and do that, do the the spacewalk. You actually do perform it um, under the water at the MBL. In fact, you have a run scheduled for scheduled Friday. Scheduled on Friday, right. so we'll we'll we'll, uh, we'll be doing the same the same job and and uh, going through some of the contingencies, the what ifs, and yeah. we call it the crib sheet. You know, which is basically the answer to any uh, and all problems that we can think of. And of course, we can't possibly think of everything, but. Uh, as, much, as best we can, we have all those answers in our hip pockets so as they get thrown at us on the game day, we can uh, give the crew a quick answer. Yeah, very good. Okay, and so from a crew member's point of view, explain to me what that's like to get that, okay, you got to go out and do a contingency spacewalk because that's obviously an interruption in what your normal timeline would right. be. Well, to be quite honest, it's, it's exciting. Okay. Uh, it's a spacewalk um, is a highlight of, of most crew members if, if they get the chance 
get a chance to do them. And, uh, and I was lucky enough to have that happen to me. So uh, I remember very specifically, uh, we had a leaky ammonia system. That, that's, there was a pump that we had to change out back, back uh, I guess, about this time last year. With I was Luca Palmitano on the street. Uh, with, with the first one, with, with, with Tom, Mar oh, yeah, Tom right. Marshburn. That's mm -hmm. when, when he, he and I woke up one morning and, and were told to do a spacewalk the next day. A little bit the same situation now, and there's it's an exciting feeling. There's so much you have to do, and you ha you're very much all right. You put you have a few minutes of just your own personal emotions, and then you get on to business with all of the work that has to happen to make it make it so. Basically, making the spacesuits sure. right and making the equipment uh, <coughs> ready to go. Like these guys. I mean, they've been working right now. And they have the added task of dealing with uh, some of the suit issues that have been the problem right. uh, for us for the last, I guess, what, nine months or so since right. last summer when Luca and I had the water problem, or Luca, Luca had the water problem on his suit. Sure. So and, and what are they doing about that now? Yeah, there, uh, there are three good spacesuits up there. Okay. Uh, turns out the one that Luca was wearing, mm -hmm. 3011, is the best suit that we have uh, of those three prior to, because it already had had a, the, we call it the fan pump separator was changed out and all mm -hmm. that work was completed. It had some flushing of the water done. So we knew that was one gonna, one, going to be one of, of the two used. The other two were sort of both uh, equally suspect, mm -hmm. if, if you will. And uh, just recently in the last few days, based on all, a lot of meetings and trying to figure out what's the right answer, which is the right suit, uh, and we've changed out the fan pump separator in 3005, and those are the two suits that will be used uh, outside. It's a, it's a lot of work. You, you diving into the bowels of that backpack of the suit and changing out pieces and parts that suit technicians do in a lab here in Houston with uh, white outfits and all kinds of special tools, right. not necessarily made to be done. Um, on board the space station. Sure, yeah, we've been watching a lot of that take place. In fact, they're still working on that today. Yeah. <clears throat> Again, uh, thank you so much for coming out and talking with us um, today. I think that's about all the time we have now, but we really do appreciate you coming out, and good luck on your uh, run on Friday. We'll Absolutely, thanks it. a lot. Nice right. to see you. Thank you.